guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 42 Xavier Woods figure. You can get it currently only on ringsidecollectibles.com. It's not at retail yet, it might be out in the next few weeks. Um, so keep an eye out, but definitely if you want them earlier, get them on ringsidecollectibles.com. This is Xavier Woods' very first Elite figure, and I was very excited to get it. And um, the upcoming Elite 43, Kofi Kingston will match this attire, and then I assume Biggie Langston will be in Elite 44 to match with them. So if you want to get Elite New Day in matching outfits, which Bill from Mattel confirmed they will all be in the same uh, style outfit, which is great. So keep an eye out for that. But that being said, let's take a look at Xavier fresh in the packaging. As you can see, it's his highly detailed action figure. The SmackDown logo is it's based on an outfit he wore on SmackDown. Here's Xavier Woods and Francesca. So it includes entrance vest and trombone. And it says Xavier Woods and the Elite logo at the bottom. On this side, it's their SmackDown logo. It says Xavier Woods and there's an image of him there. And it's similar on this side, just laid out a little bit differently. Looking at the back of the box, there's the Elite logo, a larger image of Xavier. It says SmackDown and Xavier Woods and some statistics about him there. Also in the set is Kalisto, Triple H, Jerry Sags, and Brian Nobbs. It's their first time the line figures. And then Neville as well. And then some company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 42 Xavier Woods figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say this figure is far from booty. It is an awesome figure. The detail is fantastic. I think the head scan is really good too. It looks just like Xavier. And it's so cool. He comes with Francesca as well. That's just a really neat accessory. I know a lot of people went crazy buying miniature trombones uh, for their older basic Xavier Woods, the basic 56 one. Um, but I had a feeling he was going to come with it. It was inevitable, and I was really glad he did. Um, the detail, like I said, on this figure is really nice. Let's take a look at Francesca first. So this is a pretty cool accessory, the trombone. You can see all the detail. It rests in his hand pretty well. It's a little hard, at least so far that I've tried. To make the mouthpiece sit on his mouth nicely um, so I don't know I'll have to play around with that just be patient with it but it's really cool there's a lot of detail in it now I'll look at Xavier so here's Xavier's latest head scan it's the same one from his basic 56 figure except they didn't put the facial hair on this one so this is a clean shaven version uh, but I think it looks pretty good to be honest I mean, it's kind of a silly expression, but the detail in his hair and everything is really nice. And it looks like him, in my opinion. It's a ball-jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. It's got chest hair, as you can see. I don't know if he's that hairy. I don't remember. I don't really pay much attention to him in general. Um, but I guess that's nice detail. Then he's got his vest. You can see all the awesome detail on this. The New Day logo on the back flames, everything is just really nice and it's a thin rubber. It does come off. Just be careful. There we go. So it's a thin rubber as you can see. So here he is without it. He has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. He has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints, and he's got like his gauntlets, and wrist tape, or hand tape, whatever it is that he really wears. Um, it's all painted on, it's not molded or anything, but you can see all the detail in them. It's really nice. He got the typical elite ab crunch joint as well. He has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down. And he's got the swivel uh, t uh, waist joint. Excuse me. Then his belt is painted on. You can even see the buckle. You can kind of see that on the camera there. So that's pretty cool. He's got ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. 
He has a swivel thigh joints, and on his tights you can see all the awesome detail, which is really cool. Like I said, there's just a ton of detail on this figure, which is really nice. So they went all out with it. He has double jointed knees, so you can pose him really well. He's got the swivel boot joint and his kick pads with the New Day logos and stuff on it as well, and the flames. And he's got the black trim on his kick pads and boots as well. Then he has a typical ankle joints. There you go, these aren't quite as stiff. Um, but they go up and down, as you can see, and then there's a little pivot ankle joint as well. And that's Xavier Woods. Very cool figure, honestly. I highly recommend picking it up. It is not a booty figure. He had his bootios for sure. And Mattel did too when they made it because it is awesome. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.